is the second disturbance at that facility within just two months. Now we have new information about how the city plans to stop this from happening again. Our team coverage kicking off this evening with Russell Kinsall. He's outside the Justice Center tonight. Russell? Well, right now it is quiet and calm here at the Justice Center. A pile of debris, the stuff that was thrown out the window last night, was piled up on the curb here this morning. That's been hauled away. Look over my shoulder. Look at that plywood on the third floor. That's where the windows were busted out last night. But if you look one floor up above on the fourth floor, where you see that plywood, that's where windows were busted out during the first uprising, February 6th. Authorities say there's no guarantee there won't be another incident like these till all the locks are changed. This is a very concerning and dangerous situation, of course, not only for the detainees, but for all of our personnel who work here. The city's commissioner of correction says it was around 830 last night that some detainees were able to compromise the locks on a couple of cells. It's believed that some, but not all of the 66 in that jail pod started breaking windows, starting fires and throwing things. Who was involved is a mystery because they covered the security cameras. The authorities say they don't know how they started the fires. I guess it's safe to say the detainees can be resourceful if they want to do something. Detainees were able to compromise locks on cell doors during the February uprising and then again Sunday night. The city knows the locks are a problem and has set aside $13.5 million to replace all of them. We started immediately after the last function. The next day, we started working on this. Workers are busy right now replacing locks on cell doors, and it's hoped the entire project can be finished by mid-May. But jail doors and locks can't be purchased at a home improvement store, and there's other equipment that has to be replaced also. The issue, as you ask with the locks, is quite a bit more um, detailed than just the locks. There are frames, there are doors, there are glazing. Uh, there are a number of things that have to be replaced, and we are currently working in two areas of this facility. And where that work is taking place is on the fourth floor in an area where there are no detainees being held. Now, the head of correction said you just never know what detainees might do. And until they replace all of those locks, this jail is vulnerable to a similar incident as what happened last night. Live downtown, Russell Kinsall, News 4.